There may be instances in a horizontal alignment that you need to pass a horizontal curve through a fixed point. And so this is an example of, of that type of instance, starting with some of the features that were existing before the road and affected the overall selection of the alignment. So the first is the Rocky Branch Creek here. Uh, another one was the railroad that existed. And uh, one of the interesting elements is the relationship between the branch and the railroad caused a bridge to be built over the branch. So near the intersection of the of Rocky Branch and the railroad, there was an existing bridge that could be fit under uh, to, to provide uh, the clearance for the roadway. Also, the central prison existed before the roadway was constructed and one of the original municipal landfills in the area uh, was in this location in the bottom left of the screen. So a few existing points that needed to be avoided, which results in ultimately trying to locate or pass a horizontal curve through one particular point, and that's the point that's shown here on the screen. And the way that this is done, the calculation, the calculations involved in actually performing this process for passing a horizontal curve through a fixed point, we're looking at the point that we're interested in being P represented here on this horizontal curve. So it could be on either side of the PI, either side of the curve, um, and it's a bit, essentially a mirror image of itself that the calculations will involve. So we're interested in the, those points P, which are defined or bounded by the distance along the tangent X. So that's the distance starting at the PI, moving until we reach a point that's perpendicular to the point of interest P. That perpendicular distance is Y. And again, the, the distance along the tangent is X. We also have an angle theta that is bounded by the point P moving the distance along the radius to the center of the curve. So that's one of the bounds of theta. And then the other bound is the uh, radial length from the PC or the PT to the center of the curve. So those are the key uh, points along the horizontal curve that we'll use in our calculations to define how we're going to pass a horizontal curve through a fixed point. So the first thing we need to do is we need to solve for alpha where alpha is the inverse tangent of y over x. That'll give us the angle alpha. Second, we need to solve the given equation for theta, where theta is equal to the inverse cosine of cosine of alpha plus delta divided by 2, divided by the cosine of delta divided by 2, and then we're going to subtract alpha from that term. And then step three is to solve for the radius using the equation r equals y over 1 minus cosine of theta. And then once we know r, we'll treat this curve like any other simple curve with a known radius and solve for any of the parameters of interest, the PC, the PT, length of curve, and so on.